Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for December the 9th, read by Kirsty S. from the East Midlands in the United Kingdom. A Thoughts for the Day Belonging Perhaps one of the greatest rewards of meditation and prayer is the sense of belonging that comes to us. We no longer live in a completely hostile world. We are no longer lost and frightened and purposeless. The moment we catch even a glimpse of God's will, the moment we begin to see the truth, justice and love as the real and internal things in life, we are no longer deeply disturbed by all the seeming evidence to the contrary that surrounds us in purely human affairs. 12 Steps and 12 Tradition, page 105. Thought to Consider, Veni Vidi Velcro. I came, I saw, I stuck around. Acronyms, Alcoholics, a life centred on helping others live in complete sobriety. Just for today, not worrying, from a practical philosophy. None of us has to understand God or worry about things beyond our control. We can indulge ourselves in the luxury of not worrying. Any of us can handle just one day. All each of us has to try at is our own job, our own family life. We don't have to try fixing up the whole world or understanding what no theologian of any faith has ever understood. We simply stop messing in God's business. Came to Believe, page 116. Daily Reflections Love with no price tag When the twelfth step is seen in its full implication, it is really talking about the kind of love that has no price tag on it. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 106 In order for me to start working the twelfth step, I had to work on sincerity, honesty and to learn to act with humility. Carrying the message is a gift of myself no matter how many years of sobriety I may have accumulated. My dreams can become reality. I solidify my sobriety by sharing what I have received freely. As I look back to that time when I began my recovery, there was already a seed of hope that I could help another drunk pull himself out of his alcoholic mire. My wish to help another drunk is the key to my spiritual health. But I never forget that God acts through me. I am only his instrument. Even if the other person is not ready, there is success, because my effort on his behalf has helped me to remain sober and become stronger. To act, to never grow weary in my 12-step work, is the key. If I am capable of laughing today, let me not forget those days when I cried. God reminds me that I can feel compassion. As Bill sees it, random quote, key to sobriety. The unique ability of each AA to identify himself with and bring recovery to the newcomer in no way depends upon his learning, his eloquence or any special individual skills. The only thing that matters is that he is an alcoholic who has found a key to sobriety. In my first conversation with Dr Bob, I bore down heavily on the medical hopelessness of his case, freely using Dr Silkworth's words describing the alcoholic's dilemma, the obsession plus allergy theme. Though Bob was a doctor, this was news to him, bad news, and the fact that I was an alcoholic and knew what I was talking about from personal experience made the blow a shattering one. You see, our talk was a completely mutual thing. I had quit preaching. I knew that I needed this alcoholic as much as he needed me. 1. 12 and 12, pages 150-151. 2. AA Comes of Age, pages 69 and 70. Big book quote. In dealing with resentments, we set them on paper. We listed people, institutions or principles with whom we were angry. We asked ourselves why we were angry. In most cases, it was found that our self-esteem, our pocketbooks, our ambitions, our personal relationships, including sex, were hurt or threatened. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition. How it works, page 64. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. The way of AA is the way of the fellowship. We have read a good deal about fellowship and yet it is such an important part of the AA programme 
but it seems we cannot think too much about it. Human beings were not meant to live alone. A hermit's life is not a normal or natural one. We all need to be by ourselves at times, but we cannot really live without the companionship of others. Our natures demand it. Our lives depend largely upon it. The Fellowship of AA seems to us to be the best in the world. Do I fully appreciate what the Fellowship of AA means to me? Meditation for the day. We are all seeking something, but many do not know what they want in life. They are seeking something because they are restless and dissatisfied without realising that faith in God can give an objective and a purpose to their lives. Many of us are at least subconsciously seeking for a power greater than ourselves because that would give a meaning to our existence. If you have found that higher power, you can be the means of leading others all right by showing them that their search for a meaning to life will end when they find faith and trust in God as the answer. Prayer for the day. I pray that my soul will lose its restlessness by finding rest in God. I pray that I may find peace of mind in the thought of God and his purpose for my life. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. My name is Kirsty and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.